Well, folks, today is the day. We're gonna be reviewing Lilo and Stitch. Who? Stitch has a glitch. The third movie released. And. I can't think of an opening, so I'm just gonna tell you. If you wanna see me rank every episode of Lilo and Stitch in the series, you better subscribe. And, and you might as well like too while you're there, and I don't know, share it if you got any friends who like bad content. So, uh, do all that. And make your dog watch it, because that's what dogs should be doing. Yeah, watching. <laughs> anyway, Stitch has a glitch. It, it has a plot that's relatively important to talk about before I go over the characters and I don't feel like making you sit through the movie. So, I'm gonna talk plot. That's right, plot. Okay, so this movie has two major plot points that we gotta talk about. First, we're gonna talk about a da glitch. That's right, Stitch does have a glitch. The glitch causes him to act out and be mean. But he only bees mean when it's convenient to the movie. You might ask, that don't make no sense. You might be thinking that. But a big part of the movie is Lilo and Stitch will give a fallout because Stitch is so mean, right? But Stitch is only he only glitches when he is in proximity to her. Right? There's a scene where he like goes out and does good deeds, he doesn't glitch once, but the second he sees her, he, he goes berserk, he goes insane, he, he starts shooting laser eyes or something. And he, yeah, he glitches and stuff. Also, the source of this glitch doesn't make any sense. So apparently, Jumba didn't finish charging Stitch's molecules. I don't know what that means, I'm not a smart person. Which is apparently very important. It means he might die because he didn't finish him. Okay? That's so important that he didn't mention once in the first movie or once in this movie until he until like it's literally it's gonna happen and it's game over. And that don't make no sense at all. I have no idea why he doesn't tell anybody, but that's the movie for you, you know. That's that's the movie. You know who else has a plot line? Lilo. Unlike last movie, she got some stuff to do! Okay, so Lilo, she's in a hula competition, and that's like a Hawaiian interpretive dance or something. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. She, she, she's gotta do it. But her mom, it's very good. She's goaded at dancing, apparently. And, uh, she's like all sad, because she doesn't think she can do it that good. And that, that makes me sad, sad, sad. And that was the quickest overview I could do for these plot points is very fast. So uh, now we're going to talk about the characters, the goats. The goats! First off is Lilo, because I've started with Stitch two times in a row, and I'm sick of blue. <laughs> it's blues everywhere. Like, I'm showing b-roll footage of my living area. It's nothing but blue. It's, it's nothing but blue. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about this bozo. Her voice is actually different this time. I checked. It was very obvious. It, it, it wasn't her, man. It wasn't. It wasn't her. And so it was weird seeing a different voice come out of her mouth. I was going insane. I felt like I was in dreamland. I, I had no idea what was going on. I don't really know what else I have to say. Uh, I don't. Okay. Now we can do Fluffy over here, we can do Stitch. Okay, basically, Stitch is like all sad. He's like a wan. Because he's glitching out and, and breaking stuff. He's, he's being a bad boy, but he doesn't mean it. He's gone mad. Watch him eat a chair. Oh. I can't really think of much else to say about Stitch that I didn't mention in the synopsis. So, uh, next up is, uh, Nani and Billy Guy, also known as David, if you're a weirdo. Okay, so Billy Guy, he's a bit of a simp. He's a bit of a simp, okay? He's like, Nani, please date me. But she's a little busy, because, you know, 
raising a sister and a dog will do that to you. So Billy goes, oh man. Man, we must not be friends if you want. But the police comes in. The Pleakley knows what's up. He's like, yep, you're not friends anymore. You know what happens? Pleakley and Billy Guy date. I'm not even joking. Like, you might think this is some, like, goofy over-exaggeration for me, which is what I normally do. But they legitimately date, and it's hilarious. It is hilarious, and, um, Pleakley... Yeah. They supposedly go on the date to make Nani jealous, but that doesn't work, because she's not an idiot. Um, all I'm saying is, I don't buy it. Pleakley definitely, definitely wanted some. I don't know. You know what? Oh, wait. <laughs> I love Pleakley so much, man. I'm obsessed with Pleakley. So you might be wondering what Jumbo thinks of this love triangle. He doesn't care. Yeah, Jumbo has no will in the love triangle other than being in a relationship with Pleakley. And, uh, um, I should probably get off this tangent that I always get into somehow, and, uh, talk about the actual movie. So, uh, if you're having a movie, Jumbo, he's trying to get a charging station for Stitch, so that way he can undie, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, they steal a toaster or something to make it out. We also get a flashback of Jumbo, um, creating Stitch, and those are cute, I like those, those are adorable. So, uh, what's those? What other characters? Oh, Myrtle. Myrtle, do you want to know what Myrtle does for real people? She does an advertisement for her dad's business. <laughs> she really does. I like this movie. Yo, I'm back from the future, and I have a really funny joke. Myrtle, more like, infertile. Yeah, unlike Stitch the movie, this one does not have a compulsive need to bring back every character. Um, which, you know, is probably preferable, because you don't need to see everyone, and then, like, Stitch the movie is kind of cluttered. It's on, it's like barely an hour, and there's so many characters. This is longer, and has less characters, so, you know, it's kind of... But, no, it's a bad movie. I hate it. You know why? Because this guy, this guy licks his ice cream! We do have one more character to talk about. Elvis. Elvis is God. I will say, I actually did really enjoy this movie. This is like... One of the only good straight-to-DVD sequels. This could just be a sequel to the original movie. It's not really that different other than the voice cast, which is, you know, screw stage the movie. Yeah, do that. I have no idea how to end this video, but as of writing this, this uh, Once Upon a Studio came out, like, literally yesterday. So, you know, I'm gonna geek out about that for a bit. Because they had Lilo and Stitch, my babies, they're back. And that was the fourth most hyped cameo in the whole thing. Because, meet the Robinson, guys! You think I care? You think I care about Stitch? No, this whole thing has been a ploy for Meet the Robinsons. The best, the best movie of all time. Um... Adioso. In the nightlight too.